Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm gonna to make a video on how to change out the belt on a DeWalt 735 planer. Uh, mine broke last week while making a table, so I will show you quickly how to change that out. It only takes a couple minutes. Um, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and change out the blades as well, and I'll show you how I did that. Um, so if you think this video is useful, please hit like, and um, if you like the videos that I make, please subscribe to the channel. I will also post a link to the belt and the blades that I used in the description of the video. So let's get started. We'll start by making sure the planer is unplugged from the wall, and then we'll grab the T-handle Allen wrench that sits in the top of the planer. I'll use the wrench to remove the Allen screws that hold the top cover on. I'll also remove the adjustment wheel on the side, the side cover, and the little vent on the top that's where the motor pulley is. You only need to turn the Allen on the motor cover a quarter turn to remove it. Now I can remove the old belt and clean up all the debris. To give myself more room to work, I'm going to remove the feed roller chain and the tensioner. Next I can route the new belt around the motor pulley. To install the belt on the cutter head pulley, I will push the belt on as far as I can. Then I can hold the belt in place while attaching a socket to the bolt on the end of the cutter head. Now I can force the belt onto the pulley by turning the pulley counterclockwise with my ratchet. Now I need to check the motor pulley to make sure that the belt's still all the way on. If it's not, if it came off a little bit, I can adjust that by pushing the belt in towards the pulley and then rotating the cutter head pulley. Once the belt's on, I can reinstall the feed roller chains and the tensioner. Next I'll reinstall the motor pulley cover, the side cover, and the adjustment wheel. Now I'm ready to move on to changing the knives. First I'll remove the three wing nuts that hold the dust shroud over the cutter head. Then I can take the dust shroud out of the planer. When you remove the shroud from the planer, it'll engage a lock onto the cutter head. You want to make sure that you push that lock down when you need to move to a new position. To remove the first knife, I'll have to remove the eight screws that are holding the clamp and the blade into the cutter head. The T-handle wrench that comes with the planer has two magnets on the back of it, so you can use those to pull the clamp and the knife out of the cutter head. This will keep your fingers away from the sharp edges. And here's the factory replacement knives I'm going to install. Before installing the new blades, I'll make sure that the cutter head's clean of any sawdust or debris. I use the T-handle wrench provided to also install the new blade. The blade has two slotted holes that have to fit over alignment pins in the cutter head. Now I'm ready to reinstall the clamp. I want to make sure that I align the beveled edge of the clamp with the cutting edge of the blade when I install it to the cutter head. Now I'm ready to install the eight screws that clamp the blade down. Now I can disengage the lock, move the cutter head to a new position, and change out the remaining knives. When I'm done changing out all three knives, I'm ready to reinstall the shroud, the wing nuts that hold it on, and the top cover. The top cover needs to be installed so that the T-handle wrench spot sits right next to the height adjustment wheel. Now all that's left is to plug the planer back in, take a test board and run it through to make sure everything is working properly. 
And that's all there is to this job. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching.